The issue that I am most passionate about is the polarization of politics and how both sides are sort of strained farther and farther apart. There's a lot of issues right now that are in current events that are important. One issue I think is gun control. Women's rights and gender rights and all that stuff. I'm really interested in how um, policies impact women of color specifically. Immigration and immigration reform and with ranked choice voting, I wouldn't have to choose between, oh, I really like this person's immigration policy, but I don't think that they're gonna be able to win. With ranked choice voting, you're able to put your passions over party. So you can vote for the person who has the best ideas on things like immigration, healthcare, women's rights, gun control, and you're not limited by the two-party system. Well, ranked choice voting is basically when you get to rank your candidates. You get to do your first choice candidate, your second choice candidate, and your third choice candidate. And after the first round, the likelihood of someone getting a majority is really low. So um, if your first choice candidate gets the least amount of votes, your votes for your second choice candidate will transfer over to that candidate to try to get them to a majority. And it will keep going on through the rounds until one candidate reaches a majority. It gives the voters voice more options to be heard and it's a nonpartisan issue. With our country being so polarized, it can seem like any issue is gonna become either right or left, but really it's an issue of representation. You can actually support someone who you truly want to and not just support a candidate that you know has the only chance of winning. I would say to educate yourself because that was, I when I first heard ranked choice voting, I had no idea what it was, but once I did the research, I realized that it can impact people and it can impact all of us the way our whole, um, the way American politics and elections function in a way that's really positive and I think it's a change that we need to get on top of. The biggest thing about our political system right now, in my opinion, is that I feel like not everyone's voice is heard to the fullest extent that it could be, and that's where I think ranked choice voting comes in.